Good morning. Today I'll be talking about something I have been interested in my entire life. Astronomy, the study of our universe. First, I'll begin by talking about some of my favorite planets and why they capture my attention. Second, I'll be enlightening you with some cool but unsettling facts you may not know about our universe. Let's begin with the first subject. Some of my favorite planets include Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. And not including Earth for obvious reasons. What's up with Venus? I really like this planet because it has an interesting thing that it does. Allow me to explain. Have you ever left your car in the sun on a hot day? And when you get back, it is blazing hot? Well, this is what Venus does. Heat goes inside the atmosphere from the sun, but because of the type of atmosphere this planet has, the heat cannot exit. It stores it up and holds it, holds all of that heat. Your car, just like your car does, but around 100 times worse. I guess you can maybe imagine how hot Venus is now, but I will tell you anyway. Venus's surface can get up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's take a look at Mars. Whenever I think of Mars, I think of a desolate Sahara desert made of rust with no life. Now, you're probably wondering, <clears throat> why rust? Well, let me explain. Mars is orange because the sand and rock on it is actually made of rust. It has iron and metal. People say this planet used to have water and flowing rivers, but we have not fully discovered that yet. Mars also has a unique mountain by the name of Olympus Mons. You may not have heard of this mountain, but you have probably heard of the mountain Mount Everest. This is over 29,000 feet high. Well, you could stack three Mount Everests on top of each other, and, and that is how high Mount Olympus Mons is. Moving on to the final planet, I have chosen Jupiter. You're probably thinking, why did this guy choose Jupiter as one of his favorite, plan as one of his favorite planets? It is just a huge ball of gas. Well, it is not just a gas giant. Jupiter has a red circle that is in the middle of it. That spot is a huge storm. And when it, com when it comes to storms, I like big storms with thunder and lightning. This storm is just like that, but much bigger. <clears throat> Imagine the worst storm you have ever seen in your life or on TV. Just know this is nothing in comparison to the storms of Jupiter, where wind speeds can reach 268 miles per hour. Finally, I would like to share some cool but possibly unsettling facts. Have you ever stopped to think just how small we humans really are? The Eiffel Tower in Paris is pretty large. 1,063 1, feet to be exact. 81 stories tall. That means you could take 212 people that were five feet tall and stack them on top, head, head to top, head, head to toe to reach the top. Now you are standing in front of this gigantic structure. This huge building fits inside of our planet. It must, our planet must be huge. But then, think of this. 1.3 million of our planets can fit inside the sun. The sun is in our solar system. Our solar system is in a galaxy. Our galaxy is in another thing, which is inside of another thing, which is inside of another thing. And this goes on for like 10 more times until it reaches our universe. And remember, this all tracks back to when you were standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. Maybe this gives you a better idea of how small we really are and how big our universe really is. It is so big, we had to start using light years to measure in space, and those aren't even big enough. We humans have only stepped foot on the moon. We haven't even, we haven't even made it to Mars or any of the other planets yet. We've sent rovers, but we have not stepped foot on one. There is so much more to explore in our universe. And when I'm thinking about how small we really are and how big the world and universe is, it just shows the power of God and how he created all of this in just seven days. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> I hope that you have taken something in from this speech and learned something new about our universe. 
and that you have a different perspective on astronomy and how interesting it can be to learn about. I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about our universe, and thank you.